So while cleaning, I took off this little face plate type thing that was over here. As you can see, it exposes the motherboard. Uh, I took out the fan, that disgusting thing. This here is the heat sink. Got the hard drive there with the connectors going to the motherboard over here, as you can see. You have your RAM here. Pull those tabs on both sides, pull them up, just swap them out. I'll be doing that in, well, about a week, July 28th. The RAM should come in. Uh, what else is there? Here's the uh, CMOS battery. Look at that, isn't that nice? The comp well, once again, the CMOS battery is a complementary semi, uh, what is it? Complementary metal oxide semiconductor. And that's basically the thing that backs up your BIOS, like the time and date and stuff. So if you keep turning on your computer and it keeps failing, saying you need to set the date and time every time you turn it off and on, replace that. It is literally just a CR2032 battery. Uh, what else do we have? As you can see, you have the USB ports here and the audio microphone jacks. Uh, that. Oh, it's a speaker. So I guess there's another speaker on the back along with the USB ports, Ethernet power. All goes right here to the motherboard. These things here, these wobbly things, those are speakers. You can tell by just the two wires going through them connecting to the motherboard. Right there, kind of near the speaker port. Well, speaker port there. So, yeah. I went ahead, I cleaned this out as well as I could. It was full of dust, if you haven't seen the video yet. Very nice. Everything else seems to be clean. Um, as soon as I clean this, I can put that back here. Put that back on here. Put the new hard drive in here. And hopefully that'll be it. I'll have a, well, a working computer without an operating system.